Hello everybody, my name is Edgar J and this is Edgar J TV. And uh, today we have a new subject. Actually, normally I uh, teach photography in Lightroom and Photoshop, but today we're going to be talking about microphone. It's not because I know a lot about it. Uh, actually, I don't know much about microphones. Uh, we're just talking about microphones today because my I have to win to do so much to uh, to get my microphones that I I mean I need to get comfortable. Uh, <laughs> to do my podcast and my uh, videos and I have another podcast called the promise life uh, dot com and to do both of this podcasts and shows I needed a microphone definitely so I went out there and searched for every good microphone that it is every video in YouTube if I mean it was a quest to to get my microphones so what I what I end knowing was the the um, Electro Voice RE20 and the P uh, the high OP R40 are the two best microphones in the market, uh, especially if you want to do a voiceover or recording of a podcast and all that. And right now I have both of those microphones in front of me. Uh, this is the, the let me take this off. This is the high OP R40. I'm gonna lose this a little bit so you can see the brand right there. This is the high OP R40. And this is the Electro Voice RE20. Both of them, both of them are great microphone, really, really good microphones. Uh, I recommend any. You can use any of these two microphones, but the, there's big difference between one and the other. And since I was searching, like I told you, and checking online every microphone that it is, and these two came up, came up of the pile as the two best microphone. I nobody was doing a comparison between them two. And since they were the best, I went and got one of each and try that before I decide which one is going to be my microphone. So to save you seven hundred, well, yeah, maybe seven to eight hundred dollars investment uh, to do this test for yourself, I'm doing it for you. And by watching this video, you're going to learn a lot, and that way you make the decision. Like I told you at the beginning, there are great. There are both of them are great microphones. The RE goes around. 400 and something dollars in the market right now and right now if you go use an ebay you find it for 350 or something and this is the high op r40 and this one is 315 and if you go with it use you find it like for 285 280 250 all depends on ebay so these are the two choices for me these are the two best microphone they are the electro voice uh, uh, re20 it's a microphone that's it's 40 years old. It's been being in the market for 40 years. The company's been in the market for 80 years. And so it's a lot of experience behind this microphone. And one thing with this microphone is that if you ask any radio station, any radio guy, they're gonna they can talk about this microphone right away. So taking that in consideration, this is a really, really good microphone and has a lot of experienced people behind it but like i told you this microphone right here the hile is the one that leo laporte which is the biggest guy online right now um he used the the pr uh, pr40 um and if you want to learn about podcasts the podcast answer man.com is the place to go and cliff uh Reef, Reef, uh, he used the PR40. Actually, he sells this microphone. He talks really high about them. And another one that I listen to, well, let me check right here. Another podcast that I listen to is the uh, Audacity to Podcast, and he used the How PR40. Um, these are two podcasts that I, uh, when I learn how I learn how to do most of the things that I'm doing to be able to podcast. But a lot of all the good people and radio people I know, they use the re20 and it's no which one is best because they're both really really good it's which one it's better for you and in my particular case i think i'm gonna keep oh i'm sure i'm gonna keep the re20 uh the electro voice re20 for different reasons which are the big difference between these two mics for those difference accommodate my needs uh personally i teach photography i teach photoshop and when I'm talking to the mic, I'm not always talking directly like I'm doing right now. 
and with the RE20, you can talk right here. And this is the way that I norm normally I'm recording. If I'm doing something in Photoshop, I'm looking at my computer, and this is my position, and the microphone which is going to be right over here. Uh, the good thing, uh, th this is one thing with the uh, RP, the high uh, PR40. I had the high for a little bit, and I was using it right here because for the high you're going to see this is the best way is being right in front of it. And if you see right now, uh, this is my screen right right over here. So this the microphone will be right in my face. In the RE, my voice is exactly the same that I was when I was looking at it, and it's 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 for me it's really important. Uh, the RE twenty, you can move your face like you saw look what you saw me doing right now, looking at the screen. It's not a problem. No matter how far I look, I mean if I, if I look this way, uh, definitely it's it's you're talking to somebody else, but. You don't need to be exactly in front of it. And actually, it's one technique to talk to a microphone. Uh, so you don't need a pop filter. We're going to talk about it right now. You see I don't have a pop filter in this microphone. One technique is uh, you go to right there will be the, uh, the perfect, perfect place to talk to it. That way my air go this way and I don't, uh, the puff and the P's and the T's, they don't, they don't show uh, so bad in the microphone. But with this microphone, you don't really need a pop filter. Even if you talk in front of the microphone, this is like four inches away from the microphone because inside it has something similar. Oops. Uh, okay, let me get that. Sorry about that. Um, it has something like this inside the microphone. So it, it's working as a pop filter. So you don't really need a pop filter. Something that you need, it's a shock mount that I don't have in this microphone right now. And it's because when I move the mic, it, I don't know if you can hear that, uh, but that's that's actually the arm making a little noise. And it's going directly into the mic. If I hit my table, <clears throat> sorry, um, you can hear that. If I hit the arm, you can hear that. All that will go away if you have a shock mount. Shock mount goes around a hundred dollars, no matter if you buy the RE or if you buy the PR. And this is the RE twenty. Remember, and the PR forty. No matter which of the two you buy, you can the shock mount is an investment you need to do. If you budget is short, I mean, start without it. I did start without it. Actually, I'm waiting for my shock mount now. But the beginning, I, I didn't have the shock mount. I know I spent seven hundred dollars in microphones, and I didn't spend a hundred in, in, in the shock mount. But I wanted to see which mic because the mic is the most important thing. What I do, I try not to heat the table um, when I'm uh, working in Photoshop. You hear that? I don't know if you hear that. I have to. Uh, I move things around in the table, and that's why I'm getting the shock mount now. So again, right here, I can move my face. Pretty cool. One thing be between the RE and the PR is if you talk over here in the RE, you can still listen to me. Okay, uh, you hear me a lot lower, but you still hear me. If I look this way, definitely you're gonna hear me more, and uh, it's kind of kind of weird, but but you can still listen to me right there. And then if you're talking over here, definitely this is the spot where you're supposed to be talking to. But the RE20, it gives has a lot of more uh, noise coming from the sides. Um, in my case, it's so, not something that I'm worried about because I have a, 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 a let me see, a Ranger uh, compressor gate. And if you have a compressor gate, the gate is going to control the noise coming into the mic. Right now, I have an air conditioner on. I have a fan on. Like four or five hard drives running. My computer is running. I'm moving my chair. I'm moving side by side, and um, you don't hear any of those noise. That's because the gate compressor gate is working, and the compressor part. <clears throat> well, it, sorry about that. Uh, it compresses your your voice and make it if you're talking too low or you're talking too high and all that. I I, I mean I don't know. I'm not an expert in that area on any of these areas. But that's what the job that that thing do, and the compressor and the gates. I love it. If you can get you one of those gates, it's gonna change your life. Uh, because I mean, it was hard for me. Uh, everything have to be quiet. My kids, if they're running in the house or something like that, that would come would have come in in my recording, and now it's not coming in. So it's really awesome. Uh, but jumping that for the moment, this microphone has that problem a little bit. It's not a big deal. 
It's not like, oh my God, no, no. It's, you're going to see when I try the how it's only a little bit, but it will be there. And I have to point that to you. And another thing is if you're really loud, you can use one of these. And if you like to talk close to the microphone, it, it, your voice won't change in this microphone. But if you like to do that, this will help you to take the puff and the P's and the T's away a lot. So you can buy one of these things, okay? Or you can have a regular puff filter. Or you can make your own. Checking YouTube, there's many ways to do that. So, but the good thing is I'm talking at this distance and my voice doesn't change. The tonality of my voice, if I go back or if I go for, oh, uh, forward, the tonality, the, I'm a little bit louder if I'm closer. And I can control control that in my equipment. If I want to be louder, I can just control it over there. I don't have to be closer to the mic. What's important is the proximity effect in this microphone is barely there. And because the tonality of my voice doesn't change when I get close, when I get far away from the microphone. And that's important for me. I, my voice is really bright. Uh, and I like to have a deeper voice, more like a radio station, more comfortable to the ear. So with this microphone, if I move around, I still conserve, I still have that tone in my voice. Okay, close or far, I still have the same tone. And that's something that I really appreciate from this microphone too. So let me refresh really quick things that I love from this mic. Uh, one of those things is I can move my face and I can talk this way without having the microphone in front of me, keeping the same tonality in my voice. Uh, so tonality and uh, where my face is at is it? Let's say let's discount that that's as two things, and then. And then that's it. <laughs> no, and then I don't need a pop filter. That's another thing. I don't need a pop filter. Uh, I can talk this. I can keep it clean the way it is because again, I'm I'm looking at a lot of the screen and all that, and I I like to have everything clear in front of me or in my area. So that's the three important things why I choose this microphone. The uh, the high PR40 has its advantages too, and I'm I'm gonna give you first the disadvantage of the RE20 disadvantages one is that you can talk over here and you get noise if you don't have a gate if you don't have a gate that's going to be more than what you have in my mic uh in my case remember i have the gate that's controlling a lot if, sorry if you don't have a gate you will that will be an issue it's not for me but it will be for you if you don't have a gate this could be a downside okay so we take a point off because of that um one other thing with this microphone well basically i think that's that's the most important thing why uh it will be negative of this oh no 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 no. we have a second thing why it's negative about this microphone uh when i when i go and plug this the hile you're going to see that this microphone is more sensitive i i need less power behind the mic to make it work nice to make it sound really nice uh, to give an example, I did a test today. Let me check my notes. And I plug this microphone directly to the Zoom. Um, and when I did that, the Zoom game have to be in 68. When I did, I, I plugged the um, Heil PR40, you, I was in 53. So it's a big difference how much gain I need to in this mic to this mic. I don't know if I, I, mean, I don't remember if I told you the way I'm plugging this microphone. So I'm going to tell you really quick. I go from the microphone to the gate, uh, which is the, uh, the gate and compressor at the same time. And from the com gate compressor, I go to a, I'm sorry, I go first to the preamp. I use a uh, Behringer uh, preamp. It's a, 2000, it's a uh, 2200. It's the Ultra Pro. 2200 Behringer preamp to preamp and after that I go to the gates compressor gate from Behringer 2 and this compressor gate the model well I don't see it from here and I don't remember so I'm gonna put in the show notes but I go to a compressor gate and then from compressor gate I go to a mixer and from the mixer I go to a Zoom H4N recorder and from there, I go to the camera. I take the audio from the recorder through the headset and send it to the microphone and the camera. That's why I don't trust so much the audio 
in this video. It, it's going to give you an idea, but if you really, really wanted to listen to this and listen to the difference between these microphones, I recommend you go to edgarjtv.com and listen to it because I'm going to have an audio version. Right now, I'm recording in the Zoom and I'm recording in the camera. So you, if you're watching this on YouTube, please go to edgarjtv.com and the, the episode look down in the show notes here in the video because i'm going to have the exact episode so a link that you can go directly or at least exact the exact link which will be edgarj.com edgarjtv.com forward slash the episode number let's say it's episode 10. i don't know yet because i, I forgot to search that um right here and you know what let me go ahead and do this really really quick and and let me go really quick here to Edgar J TV. Edgar J TV dot com. And let me check which is my last episode. And I'm gonna tell you exactly it's gonna be episode number six. Okay? So when you, it's gonna be Edgar J TV dot com forward slash six. And that's gonna take you directly to this episode. Because I don't talk about microphones in my podcast. I talk about photography and Photoshop and Lightroom. So uh, if you're not interested in that, it's going to be hard to find this episode about microphones in there. So that's the easy way for you to go there. And you're going to be able to watch the video from there or listen to the audio version, which I recommend you do that. So you find the difference between uh, one microphone and the other. Okay. So this right here i think those are the, the, the things if you don't have a preamp you can record directly to the zoom or you can go directly to the mixer but you're going to need a lot more push i'm sorry about that uh, a lot of more push on the microphone to be able to record with this because everything needs some more power if you're going to go from this microphone to a preamp and the, all the things that i have here definitely at this point i prefer in my personal uh needs the re20 i'm not telling you buy this one but i'm telling personally for me is the one that i'm going to use let me go ahead and do the switch i'm sorry for the noise you're going to have right now but i'm going to go ahead and do the switch between one microphone and the other so you can listen to it okay okay we back over here you see i have to be wow maybe six inches or more away from this microphone if i keep the same levels the way that i have in the re20 and right now i am like six inches away or more to be able to keep everything the same way without blowing up uh the record you can even at this distance you can hear the p puff you hear that puff puff even at this distance you can hear the peas and the air coming into the into the microphone that's one thing that with this microphone if you like it which i recommend you buy it if you like it because it's really good um it's a you need a pop filter without a pop filter you go crazy if you talk this way <clears throat> i'm sorry if you talk this way and uh and say p p p definitely it, it, it fixed that it was the same technique that i teach you with the re20 but if you're in front of it you have to be really careful and i recommend any way you you get a pop filter in this case i got one of these i put it in front of it and now i can talk to it and puff you still hear it but it's it's, it's really low if i want to get closer like right here i need to bring this microphone down and right now i brought the levels down a really good chunk and this microphone actually it's made to be talking right over here i'm going to bring down a little bit more and this microphone actually was meant to be talking here and the proximity effect in this microphone is three times different uh, more i mean 100 times more than uh, the re um re20 re20 doesn't have that problem if you like this okay if you like your voice to get that deep and and 
I can do that on the RE. And I when I do it and I move back, I do my do that in my in my queue, and then I can move back. It doesn't matter because I'm gonna have the same tonality. But with this one, if I get far away, I lose that right away. That goes away. I need I need even if I move this, I now my voice is really bright. I'm gonna bring the levels higher to be this this far. And, and I, I need uh, my I, I sound really bright and my voice is kind of bright and to my ears. So for me, this microphone, it's the problem is and I need to have it. I need to have a ball filter uh, and I need to be talking right here to get that type of a deep voice that I'm looking for. And I'm moving over here to show you something. This is how I work. I work in my um, in my computer when I'm doing my photography classes. And I have to be talking this way. So now imagine I have a keyboard here, a uh, walking pan, and working over here. And right now, man, I have somebody's nose right behind my mic. So even that I use this arm, I don't use this stand, this is for guests. But man, I have things in my way to be able to keep this uh, deep voice that I like. Um, so right here, I'm gonna have to be, even if I go over here, it's still a problem. Because the microphone is in my way. If you, if that's not your problem, if you don't have that issue, man, this microphone is great. If you want your voice to sound deep like this, and you're okay talking close to the microphone, and this is the way you want to gain that, man, this is your, this is your, this, this is not a problem for you. For me, it is a problem. I like my voice to be deeper, uh, the way it sounds here, but I want that even if I move, put my face over here. Or if I put my face over here, it makes a big difference. If I'm talking over here, you hear that. If I'm talking this way, it makes a huge difference. This microphone. I don't want that. I want to be able to move my face side to side and have the same tonality that when I'm over here. If you're a radio guy, if you're gonna, be, if you have a radio voice, that's not a problem. You already have it inside you. But I don't have that. And then if you're only gonna do audio videos, you can be talking over here all day and whatever you talk about i don't know boats uh airplanes whatever it is you talk games you can talk over here and your voice going to be really nice this microphone it's beautiful i mean it's so round it's so melodic uh when you at this distance but when you get back over here and you move your face this way even if you take this off you move those faces way or this all the way and then you lose that and for me that's that's it that was the main reason why I'm switching. Um, one other thing is, <clears throat> well, one good thing with this microphone, uh, I sh oh, why I'm taking this off. Um, one good thing about this microphone that I told you before, with the RE, you got a lot of noise right from this side. If I go over here and do, <coughs> I don't think you hear that. I go. <coughs> You see, you don't hear that. If I'm going to do that test later with this other one, you will hear that. I mean, it will come in. And I'm going to do another test right here. Can you hear this? I'm talking to you right from the side of the microphone. I'm looking the same way that I would, that I look when I'm talking to the, to the front of the mic. And then I'm going to go this way. There you can hear me. That was the same test that I did with the RE. When I did that with the RE, definitely, I bet you hear more. When I was looking that way, you heard more more my voice. And if I talk over here, you barely uh, hear me. You see, whatever I said over there, I don't know if you you heard that. Remember, I going I'm going through a gate, okay? But I'm going through a gate with both microphones. So when I went through the gate through this with this one doing that, hello. I don't think you heard that hello over there. So that is beautiful in this microphone. Uh, if you got away from away from the microphone, you clean. If you're doing a audio podcast, <clears throat> nobody here. I mean, I don't know if you hear that, but if you did, you you barely hear that. And I'm gonna do this this test with this one because I forgot to do that one. Um, that's beautiful on this mic. You can do that. One other thing is remember because I need, like I told you, you need less game on this mic. The levels on this mic, it's like a quarter down compared to the to the RE20. Uh, I was three quarters. I don't remember. I don't know about those numbers. So I was three quarters of the of the level and I went right to the middle with this one. So it was a quarter 
uh, 25 percent. I don't know. That will be one one third, one third of of the power. So, well, it was a quarter that I moved over there. I don't know. No, let's not get crazy with that. But it was a lot of power that I had to take away from this mic before to keep it the way it is. So that's really good because if you're recording directly, if you don't have every uh, the whole process that I have on the back, the preamp and all that, you'd be good with this mic. You'd be nice. I plug it directly into the Zoom recorder, and I told you the difference was uh, the gain was in 53 in this, and it was 68 in this other one. So that, that makes a big difference right there. Um, if you like your voice, it will get really nice when you get close to the mic and you want to keep it there because you don't have a lot of processing in the back that you can't do that. Uh, you have to do it in the mic. This is your mic. Uh, it's, it's lighter. This one is like, man, I don't know how many pounds, but it's twice heavier than the Heil. And remember, I'm not an expert in microphone. I'm telling you why I need it, what's the difference, why I'm choosing one uh, between the other and both of them. So I, I was in love with this microphone until I tried this other one. And now I'm going to keep the RE20. I don't want it to tell you which one to buy. Listen to this one and, and listen to my voice going through the Ohio. And I like that sound. I really like it. And, and it's beautiful. But the, the thing is with this microphone, in my particular case, I need to be looking away from the microphone. I need to have the microphone sideways. I want it to be able to move my face side to side. And keep the same tonality that I that I have in the voice when I start. So if I start like this, I don't want to finish like this right here. You see, I'm talking to you. It, it, I don't know. I mean, you, you can hear me, but it's really low and it's really high. And I have to come over here back again over here. And here the microphone is the best microphone ever. Leo Lapore. Leo Lapore used the microphone. Maybe there. You see, uh, right now, my levels are really low. Right there. Leo Laporte uses microphone like kind of there. Maybe even, uh, I think it's even in his table. So it's kind of far from him. And you see my voice is now is a lot, a lot of uh, heights in my voice. So that's one thing. I, I don't want that. I want to keep the same lows that I had when I'm talking close to it. And, uh, and Leo has so much equipment in the back. He has a million dollar uh, studio. So that makes a big difference. I don't know how they process the, the sound going through the mic. But in my particular case, I, I, I don't like this effect. I don't like to be this far. And if I want to be right here, I don't like this. Now my voice is really bright. And now you can hear the size. If I go like that and talk to you right here, you can hear me more. So I don't like this particular situation. And this is the way I'm looking. I want to keep my voice uh, deeper. But I don't want to go ahead and be so close to the microphone to, to do that. Um, what else can I tell you? Uh, it's really sensitive. I already told you that. The, the puff uh, are really bad on this. You, you, you need a puff filter. Um, the proximity effect is, is huge. So if you like that, it's nice. I'm, I'm, there's nothing wrong with it. It's something nice. But in my case, it don't work. Um, a lot of good podcasters do use this one so uh you pick you do your you make the decision out of that so let me go ahead and switch here really quick yes to do um i forgot what was the test i want to i was going to test something else oh when i'm coughing on this mic how it how you can hear that and, and you didn't hear it here let's do it really quick <coughs> i don't know if you heard that and i'm gonna go ahead and switch and do that on the re20 Okay, uh, you see right now I have the levels in the same area. I'm talking really close to the microphone. And, and I mean, I'm about the same levels. So, but the, remember, the way that I like to use this microphone, I put it up a little bit. And this right here is where I like to talk with this microphone. And if you hear this, even if I get close, or if I get far, it's the same thing. If I want a deeper voice, I can go to my cue. And I bring my voice a little bit deeper right there. And it doesn't depend on where I put my face. Uh, that was too much. Okay, it doesn't matter where I go with my face. And if I go close, if I go far, if I look that way, I look this way. doesn't matter. 
I still keep the same tonality in my voice. Okay, that's the main reason. Uh, the other thing is, <coughs> you heard that? You can you can hear that a lot. So even if I, the only maybe I can fix that is if I bring the levels down, kind of like the high. So now I'm here. <coughs> You might, yeah, you hear that anyway. And I brought the levels down, so I have to be close to the mic. And that's one thing. So, if you're going to cough when you're recording, uh, the RE it might not be <laughs> your choice, so don't cough. Uh, I'm just kidding with that. But, but definitely, that's something to take in consideration. This microphone is more sensitive. But uh, this microphone, for some reason, uh, is the cardio, whatever. I don't know about that, where... The microphone can take more to the size or, or go like this. This is a super cardio microphone. This is a cardio microphone. And and that's why I think this one you need you need to cough right into it. Or you if you cough over here it doesn't happen. You have to talk and cough directly into the mic to be able to catch the cough. Um, and this one it's I think it's more open, so it takes more over here, and that's why I can move my face better. So, <clears throat> sorry about that. You might hear that, and I need some water. So that 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 is the issue right there. Uh, I think this video is too long already. It's thirty two minutes. I have to I have to let you go. I hope you can. I can put this in YouTube. I think I don't have limits in YouTube, so I'm gonna go ahead and try that. But anyway, if not, you're gonna have to check this video. I'm gonna have to make a short video in YouTube and then put this one in the website. I don't know. Let's let's wish for the best. But I think this one can go on YouTube. So everybody, uh, again, if you want to know a little bit more about what I do, you can go to edgarjtv.com. And if you want to uh, have another podcast, which is an audio podcast, it's uh, thepromiselife.com. And <clears throat> for, for photography things and technology sometimes, or times to time, uh, you can go to edgarjtv. So guys, that's going to be it for, for today. My name is Edgar J, and this is Edgar J TV. See you later, guys.